13, but the most responsible member of her family. Manisha's parents have migrated to another city in search of a livelihood and the girl lives with a grandmother and younger sister. Every day, before going to school, Manisha helps her grandmother in the kitchen and with the other household chores. It's certainly not an easy life. But this hasn't deterred Manisha from working towards a better tomorrow. She goes to school every day and wants to revise all her lessons on time. Earlier, without electricity at home, studying in the evenings was a problem. But now, Manisha has received the Sunan solar-powered lamp from the children's group in her village. Manisha is one of the 29,600 children in Maharashtra who have received the solar-powered Sunan lamps donated by the IKEA Foundation. Anuja is one of them. She is now hopeful of appearing for her exams. Gautam worked as a child labourer in the cotton fields. He has now been reintegrated into school by the children's group in his village and he has also received a lamp so he can study in the evenings. He doesn't dread studying anymore and looks forward to going to school. In Maharashtra, a large number of children, especially girls, drop out after primary school and end up being employed as child labourers, particularly in the cotton fields because of economic compulsions. Working in the fields is acceptable socially and culturally and parents do not see schooling as an attractive option. Another factor that affects children's studies at home is the lack of electricity, as poor families cannot afford to buy electricity. The IKEA Foundation has long been concerned about the rights of every child to a healthy and secure childhood and quality education. The distribution of the Sanan lamps is part of Save the Children's Child Rights for Change project running in close to 1,000 villages in Maharashtra. For each lamp that Save the Children received from the IKEA Foundation, a strict selection and distribution process was followed. To begin with, the children's group accompanied by adults from the Child Protection Committee in each village was given the responsibility of selecting the children who needed these lamps the most. Preference was given to girls and children from marginalized communities who had little access to electricity. <laughs> The distribution was monitored through a Sunan distribution proof signed by the village head and a child protection committee member. This was done to ensure accountability. The distribution of Sunan lamps is seen as a step to facilitating education so that children can go to school and stay in school.